Welcome back to another OnlineDrummer.com Monday Drum Lesson. I'm Nate Brown. In this lesson, I'm just going over an intro to the rock shuffle. So we've got six grooves for you. You can get the sheet music at OnlineDrummer.com. Please check out Don Richardson's chart-topping drum fills the 60s through today. We've got the paperback book, the ebook for instant download, as well as a complete video course where you can see all the uh, rhythms and exercises played. And we put together a rock shuffle ebook, which takes you from very beginning rock shuffle patterns and sequentially gradually increases the difficulty and complexity as you build your coordination all the way to advanced rock shuffles. So if you enjoy these beats and you want to explore it more, check out the link below. The rock shuffle, I'll play number one, sounds like this. One, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. So you see the right stick is playing triplets, except the middle triplet is missing. One and a two and a three and a four and a. Some people count it. One triplet, two triplet, three, and in that case the trip is missing. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four. These grooves focus on that ostinato pattern with the right stick. Three of four. But a rock shuffle can be played with quarter notes while the bass drum and snare drum are emphasizing that first and third stroke of the triplet. You can also move the right stick to the ride cymbal to create that pattern the bell. Number two uses the four in the floor, which drives the rhythm a little more. One, two, three, four. I'll play this one for you. Number three starts mixing up the bass drum a little bit. One, a two, a three, a four. A one, a two, a three, a so every hi-hat stroke, except the ones with the snare drum with it, are going to have a bass drum. Number four uses the technique of filling in that, that middle triplet with a snare drum. So one, a two, a three, and a four. Uh, so look at count three, three and a four. I'll speed that one up for you. Number five uses that same technique but does it twice. Once at the beginning, one and a two, a three and a four. A one and a two, a three and a four. A one. I'll play that faster. And number eight uses that same pattern twice, but at the end you've got a four uh with the snare drum instead of the uh with the bass drum. Two, a three, and a four uh. Once you get used to these, it's fun to make two measure repeating patterns just by selecting two of these groups. So you might do, say, uh, pattern number three and six and just alternate between the two. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and have fun exploring these grooves. And like I said earlier, if you want to get more into it, we have an uh, ebook available. It goes from beginner to advanced uh, with hundreds and hundreds of beats. Keep drumming.